everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm here to introduce a bunch of patriotic designs that we've um, recently created and a lot of these are actually all of them are very easy scale so they're great for beginners and um, there's a nice little purse here with a matching hat and scarf to start with and this is Deborah Norville's Serenity Chunky Yarn which is available at maggiescrochet.com and then um, we have I've taken the ruffled scarf um, from a video that we previously did and I added Premier Yarns Mary to the top of it and this is Premier's Enchant Yarn and we just wound this around and put the button in the middle so you could use it like for a lapel or like a hair thing and then we did some cute little um, coasters with cotton yarn and then this is done with worsted weight yarn and my daughter laughs at me because I like Ice House beer. But anyway, um, and she tells me that at the local little pub that they go to or the bar uh, that some of the guys are showing up with these beer cozies. So I'm just taking her word for it. So um, then we're going to come out with some other ones too. So this scarf is really cute, very easy to make and that's also out of the Serenity Chunky Yarn. And then this necklace I have on could not be easier. It's great for kids to do, um, just for beginners, because all it is is chains. So this is Starry Night from Premier, and this is Starbella, which is typically used for the ruffling um, scarves, but you can crochet with it, and it makes a real awesome, easy project to do. And then lastly, this is Red Heart Sachet Yarn, already with all the different red, white, and blue colors, and it's like super easy ruffled scarf to make. So now I'm gonna take you to a close-up, and Christina is gonna show you how to make these projects. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel, and the links to everything are listed below. Hey everybody, it's Christina from maggiescrochet.com, and today I'm showing you how to make this beautiful little flower um, this is out of the Premier Yarns Enchant Flowers line. It's a very, very fine thread. Um, it's a number zero lace weight. But it's got these adorable little flower sequins all throughout it, um, hence the name. So this is a really cute thing. Um, I would probably, gosh, there's a million different things you could do with this. You could put it on a hair barrette, on a headband, um, put on a little clip and decorate your purse with it. Um, anywhere, anytime you could use a flower, you could certainly use this. It's really cute. To make this, it's super easy. Now this one was made, we took a three inch piece of cardboard and wrapped the Enchant Flowers around it a hundred times. And that looks like that. The one I'm making today, this is a little bit wider than three inches. It's more like, oh, I don't know, maybe three and a half. And I lost count of how many times I wound it, but it's more than 100. So you can kind of experiment with how poofy you want your flowers to be, how big you want them to be. You know, if you did only a, say, a two inch piece of cardboard, it would be a much smaller flower. So, you know, you can have a good arrangement of those. But anyway, you want to wrap it around at least 100 times. You can do more, but I probably wouldn't do less. And once you've got that, kind of very, very carefully slide it off of your cardboard, or in this case, you can see I just used a piece of paper folded up. And you've got this kind of big loop. So set that down very carefully. And taking, I'm using just a little bit more of the Enchant Flowers, but you could use um, thread or uh, a different kind of yarn, especially if you wanted to um, you know, use that to somehow attach it to your headband or whatever. Um, and then you're just going to tie a knot right in the middle of your little loop here. You'll have to double knot it, probably triple or quadruple knot it, just until it feels secure and it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to give this a couple of knots. Maybe one more just for good measure. If you're paranoid about it, you can certainly put a dab of hot glue here on the back. You may need to anyway, depending on, again, what you're going to attach it to. Probably would want to use hot glue for a hair barrette or something like that. All right, I think that's probably good. And then once you've got it right there in the center, adjust it if you need to, just kind of fluff 
your flower out. And it'll take some time for it to kind of adjust to being fluffed out. There we go. So again, to compare, here's this one made on a, say, three and a half or four inch piece of cardboard wrapped, I'm going to say probably 200 times. And this is the one made on the three inch wrapped 100 times. So you can see this one is much fuller, much more substantial than this one. So the finishing touches for this are um, to get two buttons. I'm using a white button that's about an inch in diameter. And then I've got a red one that's probably about half an inch. And I will just sew those right there into the middle. And while I'm sewing, I'll probably try to, you know, convince it to fluff a little bit more together. Because see, right now it's still kind of in two halves. So we want to try to fluff it out so you can't tell uh, the difference between the halves. See how that bottom part there is looking better already. So once I sew on my buttons, then I'll just attach it to my hair barrette, my headband, my bag, whatever um, I've decided to uh, ornament with this super easy, super cute little Enchant Flowers uh, flower. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And you can find the links for the materials and everything else down in the description. Thanks for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.